Haciendo, Senora Jackson. Hello, Kings. Today, we're going to face one of Riven's hardest counters in the video game. Poppy is the champion for shutting down mobility, the truest form of an anti-dash champion. Not like Vex who has a ton of mobility herself. Players will pick Poopy and Champ Select just to counter you even if they've never played her before. That's how hard of a counter this is. They just want to straight up take you out of the game. But there's still a way to win this disaster of a matchup and I'm gonna show you how. First off, let's talk build. For your runes, get Conqueror with that tenacity. Then go Transcendence and Gathering Storm because you want to play for your scaling. You're not really gonna kill Poppy in lane unless you're an Ultra Chad. In that case, you can follow what Aji does. He's the best Riven in Korea. Aji goes second wind and unflinching in this matchup. This way he has more sustain and survivability for facing the popster head on. And of course, get double adaptive and armor for your shards. Right now we go flash ignite for our spells cause teleport is useless. Get Doran shield as your starter item. And then for your core, get gore drinker and then black cleaver. You don't really want to fight Poppy until you have the black cleaver. This is cause Poopy likes to rush armor and with her W's passive giving her extra defensive stats, she does become unkillable. That's why I've seen players actually rush black cleaver in this matchup to try and fight her early on. Ah. Oh. Oh. Get the steel caps and death dance for armor against Poppy's huge base damage. Usually Poppy's gonna take grasp, biscuits, and corrupting pot. All the ingredients to poke and out sustain the riven in lane. You on the other hand are gonna bring conqueror so you have a better all in. At level 1 starting E is pretty standard against the poppy. She has a lot of poke with her Q and passive. But you could actually start Q and beat poppy level 1 if you follow these steps. Wait for her to use her passive. This is the range auto attack. You don't want to get hit by it for free. Especially when it's enhanced by grasp of the undying. Just wait for her to use it on a minion before you walk up. You'll know she has it when her hand is glowing. When she throws it out, it drops to the ground, and if she picks it up, she gets a shield. You can walk over the little thingy and deny her from getting the shield, but if she kills something with her passive, then she'll automatically get the shield. If she does get the shield, don't trade her or else you're going to lose the trade. Next, you have to break her bone plating. To do that, you want to start buffering your Q so that the cooldown starts ticking, and then you want to hit her with the tip of your third Q. You only want to use the tip or else she can punish you for going balls deep. If you manage to break the boner plating, you can find a window to all in her with your next Q combo. Because you buffered your Q earlier, it should be coming up very soon. So the level 1 all in only works if you buffer your Q to get the cooldown going, you break her bone plating first before going in, and don't get hit by her passive and don't let her get the shield. I know, that's a lot of shit. After level 1, you have to be more careful about trading with Pomu. Riven has zero sustain, so it's very punishing to lose your trades. Watch out for her super secret faint move. Some poppies will cancel the animation of her passive and bait out your shield. It seems really dumb, but when this happened to me, my brain exploded. Every time you walk up for a minion, Pomegranate will try to poke you out with her Q. This thing deals massive damage and it slows, so you want to bait that out by pretending to walk up. Poppy's W is the one you want to watch out for. It's a big zone that cancels dashes, and if she cancels your dash, she grounds you, preventing you from using any mobility, even flash. Try not to use any dashes while you're in the zone, but you could still use your E and it'll give you the shield even if your dash gets cancelled. Never do a full commit on her if she has her W. A smart poppy will try to cancel your third Q with her W, then she'll punish you for having no more dashes. When she does use her W, it'll be on cooldown for a long time, about 20 seconds, so this is when you want to punish her. Let's see one of Viper's games in Challenger and see what the poppy does to counter him. Watch how poppy only cancels his third- W abusing poppy. Watch how poppy only w cancels- W second abusing poppy. We Viper? don't like those. Viper, please. So you saw how Viper got his third Q cancelled by the pop. Oh, our CS thing is super bad. We're Vi gonna get level Viper. 3 gank though. We literally get level 3 Viper, gank. Viper, shut Don't stand close to walls. And don't stand close to your tower either. Poppy will wall bash you if you give her an angle. And you'll get stunned. And don't think you can dash out in time either. Poppy's E kind of has this bullshit mechanic where you can't escape the path if she's already casting her charge. It'll do this thing where it straight up pulls you back like, fuck you. You're getting stunned, idiot. I don't know why it does that, but my guess is because Riven got that dump truck. I mean, have you seen Dawnbringer Riven in Wild Rift? She's got the whole damn bakery! So when Poppy starts channeling her ultimate, you can cancel it with your CC. But it's not recommended that you try this. Pepperoni only needs to channel it for half a second to knock you back to the Stone Age. Instead, you should just try to dodge it. Riven actually wins in the early game before Poppy builds armor items. She's gonna build things like Bramble Vests or Steel Caps. After that, it's going to be much harder to fight her. So yeah, the only time you can actually win against Poppy is in the early game. What you should do when she starts getting armor is to try to play passive under your own tower and try not to die. If you manage to stay even until you get your core items, Gore Drinker and Cleaver, then you should be able to 1v1 her in a side lane. But you could still find windows to out roam Poppy and try to have a more impact on the map than her. Your game plan is to split against Poppy for as long as possible and keep her separated from her team. In the late game, Poppy actually cucks Riven hard in teamfights. She has all the tools to interrupt you and take you out of the game. 
Team fighting is not your go-to against Poppy, but if you still have to, then you should try to peel for your carries. If you follow these tips and tricks, then you should be able to at least survive Poppy and not feed her. Once you get that down, you could get to your items and become the 1v9 carry. Thanks for watching and good luck in your games, kings!